Are food trucks a good investment? And how much should you invest in a food truck? And should you buy one? Well, in this video from Food Truck Freaks, we're going to dive into some of the pros and cons and some of the steps into buying a food truck. This is going to be one of three video series. We're going to discuss the benefits, pros and cons of buying a food truck, renting a food truck, and then lease to own a food truck. And we have three separate videos. We're going to dive into the first one right now. All right, so welcome back to Food Truck Freaks. We are YouTube's food truck business entrepreneur channel, premier channel. Actually, we are all, all about dedicated to launching food truck businesses, giving you tips, tricks, pointers, and information to help you get up and running every single state in the United States and even globally. We're going to have all kinds of great resources here on Food Truck Freaks. So definitely hit the subscribe button if this is your first video. All right, so there are three different ways, obviously, that you can launch a food truck business. You're going to buy a food truck? Maybe. After this video, you may want to have second thoughts. But I'm going to explain to you the process of buying one, some of the things you need to do, plus some pros and cons. I'm going to give you five pros and five cons about actually purchasing one. Then video two, we're going to discuss a little bit about renting. Yes, believe it or not, you can actually rent food trucks. You may not necessarily need to invest a lot in them and buy them. And then there's also lease to own similar to what's known as rent to own, where you can literally lease it, pay it, and then buy it out in the end. That's going to be video three, and then we're going to give you some step-by-steps on that. So let's not waste any more time. Let's dive into this. So right off the bat, so the process of buying a food truck, right? It actually involves several steps from, of course, budgeting and planning to making the purchase and getting ready for operations. So here's a simplified overview of the process. Now, this is going to be the basic foundation. Of course, there's a few things here and there. Every transaction, of course, is going to be slightly different, but this is going to give you a great understanding. So follow me all the way through from beginning to end. And then at the end of the video, I've got some other great resources for you as well. Number one, research and planning. So identify your needs. You want to determine the type of food truck that you actually want based on the food you plan to sell, the size, kitchen equipment needed, and whether you want to actually get new or used. Now, market research. You need to understand your target market before you buy a food truck at all, okay? Competition and local regulations for food trucks in your area is a must. You need to understand those. I do not recommend you just randomly open up a truck and hopefully everyone comes to your get, get your food. Check out the local food truck scene. Market research is always good no matter the type of food business, especially food trucks. Number two, of course, budgeting. Now, you do obviously, everyone has a different budget available to them. They have funds available to them in certain ways. So you want to set a budget. You want to include the cost of the truck, of course, your kitchen equipment, your initial inventory to get launched, permits and licenses. And then, of course, don't forget to account for insurance and, of course, any potential modifications that you might make when you're buying a vehicle. Now, this could be new or even used, okay? That brings us to number three. Now, finding the actual truck, okay, new versus used. You want to decide if you want to buy a new truck, which can be customized, of course, but is more expensive up front, or use one, which is cheaper, but may need to either be have some maintenance or retrofitting done to it to customize it, okay? Sources. So you want to look at specialty vehicle dealers, online marketplaces, even local classifieds to find out available food trucks. You don't necessarily have to go to a food truck builder, um, but you could definitely do some research online and find local sellers. They are everywhere in every single state, believe it or not. Number four, inspection and purchase. This is an extremely critical step, actually, above and beyond all the other ones. You want to inspect a truck, of course. If possible, have a mechanic or a friend that you may, you may know that is a, is a mechanic. Inspect the truck independently, especially if it's used. You want to check the condition of the kitchen equipment and to ensure that the layout suits your needs specifically for your food menu, Okay. Negotiate with the buyer. Please do not just take it for sticker cost and say, hey, it's 10 grand, take it. You need to kind of negotiate because a lot of times those uh, food truck companies that have inventory, they're looking to move product. They want to sell the truck just like any other product. They want to get rid of it and move on to the next one. So once you've chosen a truck, you want to negotiate that price, okay? Consider financing options too. If you can't pay it up front, right out the bat, you, if you're going to end up purchasing it and buying it, you might want to just finance it. Number five, the legalities and permits. So obtaining, of course, necessary permits. You want to research and apply for the required permits and licenses to actually operate your food truck in your city and town specifically. Now, they vary every single state. All right, so then it brings us to insurance. So you want to get the right type of insurance for your food truck, including vehicle, business, and, of course, liability insurance. Because, of course, you're preparing food. You want to make sure your business is covered in all parameters. Number six, branding and marketing. Now, designing your food truck, this is another critical marketing aspect of it because you really want to get people's attention. You want to wrap your truck in a branded that reflects your business and ideas for your specific food and the type of food that you're selling. 
Marketing is important as well. So you want to develop a marketing plan to attract customers, including social media, local events, or partnerships. Now, partnerships is one of the most critical things locally that can actually be hugely beneficial for you and the people you're actually partnering with. So it's kind of a win-win. Out of everything I would recommend for marketing food trucks, getting with local businesses and such for special events or community events and sports and such like that, that is a great way to get out into your community. Number seven, now it's time to launch. So you want to create those final preparations. You want to stock your inventory, train your staff if you have extra employees, do a test run to ensure everything is working and is as it should. Even if you happen to have a brand new truck, there are sometimes little kinks that unfortunately pop up. So you want to make sure everything's working perfectly. Open for business. Now you can get up and running and start selling, choosing your locations, and adjusting your strategy based on your customer feedback and your sales data because certain events may be more beneficial than others. So that it doesn't necessarily mean that you should go to every single event in your community because it may not have the type of clientele that you're looking for for your specific food. All right, so let's dive into five of the pros and then we'll get into five cons. Now, pros and cons of buying an actual food truck. So pro number one, Mobility and flexibility. Obviously, reach different audiences and explore various locations to find the most profitable spots. It's much different than a brick and mortar, plus it's more flexible in that sense. Number two, lower initial investment. So compared to a traditional restaurant, starting a food truck requires less capital, making it more accessible entry point for any new entrepreneur without having to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on a restaurant or cafe. Number three, experimentation and creativity. Now, this one is really cool because you own the food truck. It allows you for menu experimentation and rapid feedback from customers, enabling quick adaption to trends that may be popping up or seasonality too, or preferences from your specific clientele. Number four is marketing and branding presence. So a well-designed truck is a moving advertisement in and of itself, helping to build your brand recognition in your city or county and also attract customers through visual appeal as you drive around to your events. Next, lastly, number five, the personal freedom. Now offers the owner greater operation flexibility and the chance to actually be directly involved in every aspect of the business from cooking for the customers, obviously, and helping them get their food. Next up, some of the cons. There are some downsides to the buying of a food truck, though. Some of the cons. So regulatory hurdles. Now navigating permits, licenses, and local regulations can be a bit complex for food trucks and they vary widely by their location. Number two, maintenance and operational challenges. Now, keeping a truck and equipment in good working order requires regular maintenance, so that is a cost that you need to factor in every single month to put some money away. Now, this can be costly and extremely time-consuming because if your truck is being worked on and fixed, you are out of business temporarily because that truck is your business. Number three, next up, is the space limitations. Now, food trucks do have flexibility, as we mentioned, but restaurants, on the other hand, have much more space. So limited space for cooking, storage, and serving can actually constrain your menu options and the volume of orders that you're able to handle. Number four, weather dependence. Now, this is a, this is a gigantic one. This is really big because, of course, food truck businesses rely on the weather. Sales can be significantly impacted by weather conditions with bad weather potentially driving away customers. So number five, intense competition. You may be in a city or a certain circumstance in the county that you live in where there's a growing popularity of food trucks which means increased competition and requiring constant innovation and marketing efforts on your part. Now, Damien, let's dive into some frequently asked questions about launching a food truck business. I actually go through 10 questions that are really kind of things that new food truck owners may run into and may think about. Number one, how much, we always get this, how much does it obviously cost, Damien, to start a food truck? Well, it's a huge, gigantic window. You can't really pinpoint it. Some costs, they say, range from the low end of $50,000 for a basic truck up to $100,000 for a new one with custom-fitted equipment and everything else. Believe it or not, a lot of times some trucks you can get, even I know I've done a video here on my other channel, Marketing Food Online, where you can buy food trucks for about three to four, even five grand overseas and have them brought to the U.S. and then you can retrofit them or customize them for even less than 50000 So number two, is it better to buy a new or new used or used food truck? So it depends on your budget, really. Honestly, that's something that I think your budget and your needs, really. New trucks offer customization but are pricier, okay? While used trucks are cheaper, but they actually may require some maintenance or even other additional customization, which brings you back up to almost like the level of a new truck. So it really depends on which truck you find and how much work has actually needed to make it uh, retrofitted. And number three, what permits do I need to operate a food truck? So required permits actually vary by city and county and location, but typically they include like a health department permit. You need a business license and sometimes specific food truck permits for days that you're going to be operating at events or parking permits. Okay. Number four, 
How do I finance a food truck? So options include loans, leases, personal savings, or seeking investors. Now, it's really a bit of a difficult thing to seek investors, to be honest with you, when you initially launch because you don't have any sales history or to show how the business has succeeded. So normally, you might want to look into some personal savings or potentially loans out that you can take for the business as a startup. Number five, what insurance do I need? So you'll need, of course, vehicle insurance. You need general liability insurance, property insurance, and then potential workers' compensation, depending on if you've got a staff of employees that you've hired. So how do I choose the right location for my food truck, Damien? Well, this one is also one that really kind of you have to, have to experiment with because, of course, weather and the seasonality depends on that. But we want to research foot traffic, okay? Local competition and restrictions in the area that you're in. Uh, you want to consider spots near offices, parks, or even event venues. Those are ones that have a lot of foot traffic. Number seven, can I operate my food truck year-round? Well, this depends on your location's climate and whether you can actually find profitable venues during those different seasons. You know, finding a venue in a good spot is one thing, but what really constitutes a good spot? You know, are you making 500 a day? You're making 5,000 a day. Number eight, what kitchen equipment will I need? Now, some of the essential things are grills, deep fryers, refrigerators, and freezers, uh, prep stations, which would be tables for you to prepare the meals and food on, and some possible specialty equipment based on your menu. So the equipment will actually reflect really what kind of uh, menu you're going to have, okay? So number nine, how do I market my food truck? Utilize social media. You know, part to participate, as we mentioned earlier, local events. You can collaborate with local business owners and even consider like loyalty programs. So if you come back frequently and the customers come back, you want to reward them in some way. Loyalty programs and food trucks actually do very, very well. I highly recommend you look into doing those. Lastly, number 10, what challenges should I expect? Well, of course, we can't lock those all up in one question, but be prepared for operational challenges, fluctuation in sales, long hours, of course, and the need for continuous marketing and menu adjustments as your business grows. So if you're looking to buy a food truck, hopefully this information helped you determine what would be the best route. Check out our next video. We're going to talk a little bit about leasing and then renting a food truck. And as always, if you have any questions or comments, let us know down below. I'll see you on our next video.